Hey guys, okay, I'm going to do part two now of that message from the Lord today. Um, and today is February 27th. This is Dobby. He's 17. He would not leave me alone. He just kept barking at me, so I had to pick him up. Okay, so first he gave me Job 13.4. But you forgers of lies, you are all worthless physicians. Hebrews 8.5. Who served the copy and shadow of the heavenly things as Moses was divinely instructed when he was about to make the tabernacle? For he said, see that you make all things according to the pattern shown you on the mountain. Matthew 4, 9. And he said to him, all these things I will give you if you fall down and worship me. John 3, 9. Nicodemus answered and said to him, how can these things be? Zechariah 14, 9. And the Lord shall be king over all the earth. In that day it shall be the Lord is one and his name one. Lamentations 4.11, the Lord has fulfilled his fury. He has poured out his fierce anger. He kindled a fire in Zion and it has devoured its foundation. Matthew 26.5, but they said not during the feast, lest there be an uproar among the people. And guys, some of these scriptures might go with part one. I'm not sure it's because he gives it to me all at once, but I just ran out of time because of TikTok. Um, Leviticus 1.4, then he shall put his hand on the head of the burnt offering, and it will be accepted on his behalf to make atonement for him. Mark thirteen five, And Jesus answering them began to say, Take heed that no one deceives you. Luke six eleven. But they were filled with rage and discussed with one another what they might do to Jesus. Here's another message. Oh, my child, how I wish you would wake up. Lots of destruction is coming. It's not all here yet. Tribulation has not started. Tribulation starts when darkness comes. After I take my people, don't twist my words. Test every spirit. They are not all from me. Deuteronomy 4.9 Only take heed to yourself and diligently keep yourself, lest you forget the things your eyes have seen and lest they depart from your heart all the days of your life and teach them to your children and your grandchildren. John 6, 9. There is a lad here who has five barley loaves and two small fish, but what they are among so many. Okay, so that was a short message because I did a lot in the other part one. Um, but anyway, so guys, sorry, hold on, let me fix Dobby. Driving me crazy. This is Dobby. He's 17. Hold on. <laughs> so hard to maneuver with this dog. Okay, I'm back. This is Dobby. He's 17. He's blind. He's my little baby, but he's very, very needy and he always wants his mama and he always wants attention. Um, I have no kids, so these are my kids. <laughs> um, but yes, I love you too, Dobby. I love you too. But anyway, guys, if you do not know Jesus, you need to call on him today because Guys, all of this stuff is happening. Oh, my nose is itching. All of this is happening, guys, and I don't know when. I mean, a lot of it's already come to pass. I mean, I just posted a video today about all the prophecies that has fulfilled already. And, guys, so much more is coming, and you have to heed his warnings. And you have to lay down the arrogance and, and thinking you know everything because... As I don't know a lot, okay, but I get everything from Jesus. And, you know, I know a lot of things people question, you know, with the scriptures and stuff because they're leaning on their own understanding and they're not asking the Holy Spirit before they read. What? Relax. Um, so, guys, it's easy. You just ask Jesus to come into your life and accept his free gift. Guys, he will save you if you could believe in him and confess your sins. Guys, there's no one out there that can complete the law on their own. It's impossible. So there's not one good person out there. You know, I used to think that before I was saved. I was like, well, I'm a good person. I'm going to get to heaven. Guys, you have to be under Jesus because we all fall short. We all fall short to his glory. Um, but anyway, so... Just ask him to come into your life. Ask him to pour his spirit in you. You know, walk in. I'm going to drop him. Walk in um, in the spirit, guys. It's all about walking in, in the spirit of Jesus Christ, okay? All right. Well, Dabby, we had a short video, so we're going to say goodbye. Okay. 
Goodbye, guys. I love you.